Hi, this is an unboxing and a review of Microsoft Wireless Desktop 800 series keyboard and mouse. I bought the set for a price of 1100 Indian rupees, which is roughly equivalent to 22 US dollars. In this video, I'll be showing you how this product feels in hand and what are its positives and negatives. So, without wasting your time, let's unbox it. This set works on a 2.4 GHz wireless connection and works up to a radius of about 15 feet, roughly 4.5 meters. The box contains a product guide in various languages, a pictorial setup card, and uh, uh, three other cards, one each for keyboard, mouse, and transceiver with the model numbers, all of which I'm going to trash right away. So Microsoft sells this product along with batteries, which is a nice touch. We've got uh, two AA batteries and uh, two AA batteries for the keyboard and two AAA batteries for the mouse. The mouse here is a is a lightweight two button mouse with uh, 1000 dots per inch responsiveness. It fits the hand very well, clicks very well too. On the back we have uh, the transceiver stored which will be connected to the computer in order to receive signals from the mouse and the keyboard. The transceiver is small in size than other transceivers that I've seen, which is good. And so is the uh, snap-in option to the mouse. Here we have the on-off switch, an optical sensor, and a compartment for batteries. The batteries need to be inserted at an angle and then pushed to fit. Here we go. The mouse is now alive. On the front we have a battery indicator, uh, a battery indicator green light. Uh, you will need to change the battery if it turns red. According to Microsoft, the batteries should last about 15 months of normal usage. Here we have a shiny black keyboard with a nice glossy finish. This is a 109 button keyboard, uh, 4 of which are special buttons. This one right here is a calculator and these four are the audio buttons. This is a play pause for playing or pausing a song or a movie. This is mute, the volume down and volume up keys. The lower part of the keyboard is white and has these flaps that can be extended in order to keep the keyboard at an angle, which is nice. This right here is the battery compartment where we'll be inserting the supplied AAA batteries. Here too, here too, just like the mouse, we have a battery indicator light. Green is good, red is for the change of batteries. Typically, this should also last for 15 months. The negative aspect that I found about this keyboard is that uh, there's there's absolutely no indication or a light for uh, the caps lock key, without which it is absolutely impossible to know whether it's on or off unless you type and then check. Also, the function keys are smaller in size than you'd like. These are also spaced uh, at regular intervals because of which you always have to actually look at them before hitting an F5 key for example. Overall I would rate this product 3 on a scale of 1 to 5 for its looks and price. This is perfect 
uh, for a home PC with normal usage and for people on a budget. Gamers and developers might want to look at better options. I would appreciate if you would leave your comments and questions in the box below. Also please subscribe for new videos. Thank you.